This home surveillance footage shows what many people in Santa Cruz County are reporting. Coyotes in their neighborhoods and in their yards. And in this neighborhood, it's grown to be a major concern for people and their pets. We're scared to leave our animals in our own yards, you know, because the, the, the coyotes are everywhere. Stephanie Buswell says she believes they're attacking many household cats in the area as well. This street alone has lost three cats in the last year, and there's been more I know that we don't we aren't even aware of. Um, I recently found a, a this is gruesome, but a, a little cat paw laying on the sidewalk. Um, and I just, I'm just tired of it. A frightful scene that's created anxiety for pet owners. It's just so hard because your doggy needs to go out in the middle of the night. They can't use a cat litter. If there, there'd be a way we could find a balance to live with mm -hmm. the coyotes so they, they, they don't go after our pets. Local experts say this time of year is normal to see an increase in coyotes. I think since it is pupping season, maybe there's a few more out there, but they do tend to disperse at the end of pupping season, which is next month. There's always a, a fair amount of coyotes um, running around in that neighborhood um, that, that we get calls about. Um, sometimes they're running around during the day, which is actually uh, somewhat normal. Experts also recommend hazing, a method used to deter the animal. You can just appear as big as you can, stomp your feet, clap your hands, yell, um, and just essentially reinforce for them the idea that humans are not something you want to be close to. And that relocating coyotes isn't an option. Trapping and relocating uh, is illegal in all of California. There's nobody that's going to be able to relocate them to another place. And if they did, um, more coyotes would uh, very quickly move into to the area.